Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC review. Today is episode 3 of The Penguin, and wow, what an episode. We learnt a lot more about Victor this week, which is something I wanted and mentioned in last week's review. It's something I thought that was really needed, and this episode absolutely delivered. It starts with us being introduced to Victor's family and his girlfriend and a couple of his mates, but then we find out that this is actually a flashback to when the Riddler set off all those explosions throughout Gotham, flooding a lot of the city. And the tragedy of it is that Victor saw his whole family die from Riddler's attack. It was a beautifully painful scene to watch, but perfectly connected us to Victor and gave us some more backstory to his character and also directly connected us to the Batman. It actually reminded me of how in the Snyderverse films, the two sequels start with the ending of the previous film, but from another character's perspective. I absolutely love that concept and I thought it was brilliantly done here too. It just adds to the world building. And this whole episode was fascinating. Everything just kept unraveling and we learned so much in just one hour. We see the relationship between Oz and Sophia who are now working together but Oz isn't really in control at all. Sophia openly states that it is Oz working for her and not them being partners. And from the end of last episode, I thought they may have been partners but from this this episode, it looks like Sophia thinks she is in charge, and Oz has once again got to think on his feet and impress her to stick around, and we will come to the end of the episode in just a minute. So as Oz and Sophia are off on their mission, we see Victor's story more too. He now has this inner conflict as his girlfriend wants him to leave with her to go to California, but he doesn't know if he should or can. Now he mentioned something very interesting. He said to her that Oz is kinda lonely, and so maybe a part of Victor is sticking around because he feels bad for Oz. And throughout this episode, I think Oz knows that and recognizes the conflict within Victor because he uses that to his advantage advantage and manipulates him so much. The first was in the apartment where he paid him a thousand dollars and said he can get that every week. Then at dinner where he defends Victor when he is stuttering, which is going to make Vic feel more supported and feels like Oz cares about him. Then at the club where he sees Vic looking at his phone and then praises him for his work. And then finally in the bathroom where he finds out who he has been messaging and he makes it seem like Vic was never forced to stay. He even though it was pretty clear he was. But making it seem like Victor was the one who chose to stay rather than him being forced to stay then pushes the blame off of Oz and makes it feel like it's all about Victor. And that's what eventually makes him stay. He feels like he wants to work with Oz and I actually think Oz was a little hurt by him initially leaving. Sure, a lot of it is put on and is just him manipulating Victor, but I also think Oz really likes the kid. And at the end of the episode, Victor saves Oz who is at gunpoint and potentially even kills a guy and I'm really intrigued to see where they go from here. The Moronis were about to kill Oz and Sophia with Sophia also now hearing that the Moronis were working with Oz and then he ditches Sophia when he escapes with Victor so I have no idea how on earth Oz is going to get out of this one but I'm sure he will find a way. Somehow he always does but I have no idea how he will this time. But what I did find powerful was Victor's clear PTSD in the nightclub. The loud music and flashing lights brought him back to the night where his family died and it added another complexity to his character. Not only was he balancing whether or not he should leave, but also now he's getting panic attacks and the more he gets involved with Oz's work, the more likely he is to experience explosions and guns being fired and I can only imagine that will trigger his PTSD again. So now he's got to worry about that too. And if that starts happening in very dangerous situations, situations, then he could become a liability for Oz, and if that happens, then we could see Victor being someone Oz doesn't want around anymore. And I think going forward, it may be Oz and Victor going it alone for a while, and that means Victor is going to have a lot more responsibility, and that will test him a lot with his PTSD, and I don't know if he's going to be able to do that, but we shall see next week. So overall, this was another great episode. I am loving this show, and every week, I love it even more. I am so 
excited to see where this goes next, and I will give this week's episode an 8.5 out of 10. Now let me know your score in the comments below. But that is all for today's review. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!